and evidently that grand star is only worth one star. What a ripoff! Now you'd think that star being able to power this space station would be worth like a hundred of them. Unless stars, uh, unless grand stars are only like worth the power of two or something like that, I don't know. But they still should be two on the meter there. What, whatever, don't question the game. <coughs> Excuse the allergies. It is lit again. It shines weakly as a, as a classic star. But they will survive. Yes. You're welcome. Uh, can we go to the bedroom now? Oh, the Comet Absor Observatory. I, I always just call it the Observatory. <clears throat> oh, we do? Oh my. Why, why would you stop at that planet? Is it because a strange force latched onto your ship? Yes, it is, evidently. It lost its power. No! What? How could, it, how could that happen? <gasps> I know those. I know that guy. So you are referring to Princess Pussy. Wow, how much power has Bowser gotten? What's your request? I, well, I, I'm trying to look for Peach, but well, whatever. whatever. <sighs> I guess I'll take the time to help you. We can? Ooh, domes, huh? So that's how you observe the gal galaxies. I must go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars. Hey, wait, I just said that. <laughs> yes, I, I know this game very well, so... Yeah, uh, except for the intro. For some reason, the intro isn't very memorable to me. I don't know why. <laughs> don't ask me why. So, yeah, I'm going to save my game. Ding. Yay! And so the game starts. You can talk to some people if you want to. There isn't very many on the uh, Comet Observatory just yet, but more and more people will come to this absor observatory as you go. Uh, but as for now, there's only going to be a few Luma, uh, Lumas flying around. Yes, that's what these little star guys are, are Lumas. And uh, uh, this place, will, as I said, will eventually become more and more populated as you complete the game. This green star, we will find more about later. Much, much later in the game. Yes. Trust me on that. And what you got to say? Hello to you too! Did you just sing that? You just sung that with the note. It's the girl. Oh wait, there's a one up in here. In case you're wondering. Yes, indeedy. That is true nerdy memorization of a game. And now let's go into the. Uh, wait, I, I could. I'll talk to the blue luma over there later. Let's go to the terrace right now. And now we're in the terrace. Who would have guessed? This dome acts as an eye from the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Amazing! How do you do it? You got more power than NASA! Look at that telescope! You can see all the way across the universe! Ooh, what's that? Click on it. You'll be pulled to it with a gravitational force. They are the galaxies that can be observed. Ooh, but I don't see any galaxies, just a bunch of stars and question mark blocks. Cool, they, they represent the distance. But what does that mean? Ah, oh, I see what you mean now. So the more stars I get, the more galaxies I shall unlock. Since I only have one star, I'll only be able to unlock this one. And so, we start off the walkthrough, finally, at the Good Egg Galaxy. Oh my goodness, not Power Star energy patterns. Wait, that's a good thing. Oh no, evil energy readings. Okay, that's a bad thing. And let's fly to the galaxy. Go, Mario, go! Woo! And so it starts with Dino Piranha. The first star of the game. Technically the second, but this is the first real stage. That, that isn't a tutorial stage. And ooh, an eggy. What is that egg? You probably know what that egg is. But uh, I won't spoil it for you if you don't know what it is. Whoa, welcome to the galaxy! Epic music! Oh, I love the good egg galaxy music. 
And yes, the game is indeed finally starting for real this year. Ooh, let's just go. Whoa, the planet flips over. And now we're at the dark side of the planet, which is probably going to make things glow because of the dang camera. Arr! You can explore some stuff around here, or you could have just went right up there and then, uh, um, then continued on. But I'm just going to do a little exploring for the fun of it here. Like, I'm going to demonstrate this here. If you hit that thing... Every time you collect the note, it plays part of a song. Follow all those notes, and you'll get a little bonus. What that bonus is depends on what whatever these things give you. And this was probably going to be a one-up. Yep, just like I thought. And then we go right around here. And go right around here. Yes, you can't just jump to a different wall. You have to walk along these things right here. Um, wait, how do I get to, the, uh, I want to go to that orange pipe up there, but again, I am lollygagging, I, I just wanted to demonstrate that, these first couple parts are probably going to be lo a lot of lollygagging, because I like to explain some stuff, ooh, a, a signpost, how's it going, signpost, uh, uh, oh, uh, yes, that's, I forgot to tell you that, if you should ever quit the game, uh, in the middle of a stage, you won't be able to save your star bits, or, anything really so you gotta finish the stage if you want to keep your junk uh well anyway i've wasted enough time so let's just go up here you don't have to talk to everyone you just have to uh, uh just go ahead and uh go take the correct routes and stuff like that i'm pretty sure i talked to everyone along that route so the game continues and now i have to collect more pieces of a sling star on this planet here there's one and uh, to do that long jump that I just did there, um, as you're running, hold the Z button to slide, and then simply press the jump button. That long jump is extremely handy. Come to think of it, that um, spin that you do is also really handy, as it can save you from many bottomless pit deaths that you may encounter along the way. And I just ran face first right into that boulder. That was delightful, I gotta say. And now I gotta make it to that sling star without dying, which shouldn't be much of a problem. Ow! I was trying to grab this coin here to recover some health, but whatever. I'm just gonna skip the coins and grab some coins at a different planet. That planet's kind of dangerous. Um, if you want to destroy those uh, boulders, you just have to spin at them on the red side, that red glowy crystally side. It's not that hard to do. It just kind of wastes time. But you can get a ton of star bits from those. Um from those boulders. Oh, by the way, whenever you kill a piranha plant, sometimes a vine will sprout from it. Vines will sprout from other things as well, but mostly from piranha plants. Just jump at it and then uh, shake the Wii Remote next to it, and you'll uh, give yourself some momentum to make yourself fly forward. There's a lot of shortcuts that you can take on this little planet here. Like, you could um, long jump across some planets and stuff like that. Oh, you can also kill these things by spinning... Oh, whoops, whoopsie doodle. Um, by making this thing spin into them, here, I'll, I'll just demonstrate it like this. This, this springy ball here, it's like a little piece of plant or something, and let's just try and blow one of these things up. Ah, oh, I got flattened! No, wait, can I spin? I want to hit that red thing to demonstrate. Red thing, red thing. There we go! That's how you destroy a boulder. Uh, that's a great way to get star bits, but it takes forever, obviously. So, just get star bits as you play through the game. And oh my god, the music in this game is amazing and a half. You just... The gameplay is amazing, the music is amazing. You can't you can't experience this game by walk, watching a walkthrough. You have to play this game yourself. By the way, in case you didn't see, that was an invisible star bit bag over there. Um, when you hit, when you'll see footprints and dust flying around. Um, go try and hit the source of it, and then that critter will appear. Hit it again with another star spin, and uh, then you'll be able to get a whole load of star bits from those critters. Um, if you kick an enemy after you stun it, um, you'll get star bits, but if you stomp on an enemy, you'll get a coin from it. So that's a great way to increase your health. Also, on, when you're flying through the air like that, Always be on the lookout for star bits that are flying next to you or along the way on your path through the sky. The reason why is because um, you'll be able to collect more star bits along the way a lot faster. So those those parts that you can't really control, really you do have control over it, but you're, it's mostly about the star bit collecting. But you got to be quick about it. Um, so yeah, this is Dino Piranha here. I'm pretty sure you've seen me face him before in my test videos. 
uh, just pet his tail just a little bit, and it'll, it's a very springy tail, uh, but, you know, if you just pet it gently, just, it, it'll spring back towards him, no matter how gently you pet it, it just seems to always spring right back towards him, and as you can see, that was like the easiest boss ever. Yeah, that, that was kind of sad in a way. <laughs> but, that is... Next Star! Yay! And uh, collect star bits if you'd like to, just before you collect the star. Yeah, you're gonna need them. And that is Star Number Two! Woohoo! Yay! Um, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna be doing this walkthrough, like, how I'm gonna have to edit the parts. I'm just saying, like, I might have to split up some stars into, uh, different parts and stuff like that. It's just how things go sometimes. Um, it, I'll just have to do things as I go, just play it by ear, so to speak.